Hello everyone, welcome to the world of qualitative research analysis. Today we will see how we can do qualitative research analysis or text based analysis using a software named as NVivo. NVivo is quite a user friendly and easy to use software for doing text related analysis. The software is not free of cost but you can download its 14 day trial version from its home website. I will share the link in the description. So let's start. And the agenda of today's video is introduction towards this NVivo software and its interface, data entry, creation of word cloud, word frequency chart and a famous word tree cluster, creation of nodes. Let's start. This is the landing page of NVivo software. Likewise, in any other software, we need to give the name of the file. Here we start with the first blank project. Let's give name project ABC. Project ABC. Okay. This software is helpful in many terms. Like we can do text data analysis. We can do uh, interview analysis. We can do uh, literature review based analysis, which is like based upon your existing literature, manuscript, papers in the form of PDF or text. It's a full version also give you a flexibility to do analysis based upon audio and video also. So let's see how it works. On the top, we have various menus, home, import to add in the data, create, create various attributes, explore to do real time analysis and finally sharing your outputs with others. On the left side, we have various shortcuts. First thing first, we need to, while doing any analysis, we first need to put in the data. Likewise, we do in our quantitative research analysis, if you are using a software like Excel or SPSS, we, do, we need to feed in the data. I'll start with one example. Likewise, I've done an interview and I've collected responses from n number of people. I need to enter the data responses one by one. Data of respondent one, respondent two, respondent three. For a hypothetical interview, I have collected a data from five people. I'll click on import. These are my respondent. I'll click on these files, which is a word file and I'll import. This is importing the files and here I have the word file as a respondent responses into my software. This is one way of importing data. If you are doing analysis based upon existing literature or we can say papers, I need to import those papers. I can include those papers one by one as we have done in the case of interview thing or we can import with the help of Mendeley, and not Refwork, Zotaro. The good part is you can connect this particular software for your mon monkey service survey uh, responses. For example, if I need to import from Mendeley, I'll go to Mendeley first. I'll export the desired documents in the form of response responses. But the thing is, by default, it is BibTeX while NVivo supports RIS. If we need to change it to RIS, save. Let's save it on our desktop. I went to NVivo. I'll go to desktop. My collection RIS. Open. We'll not change anything. We'll click on the by default settings. Click on import. It's importing the files. And here we have our files. By double clicking on any files, we'll see what files do we have. Similarly, the responses. You can see these are the questions. These are the answers of interviews. We can click here, click to edit. We can edit the responses. I'll show you how these things work one by one. So sticking back to the agenda of this particular video, what we need to do with access, I'll show how to create the word cloud, frequency, word chart and clusters. 
we'll go to explore we'll click on word frequency it will land up like this here we have search in the files or externals the whole files for this particular projects or a particular selected text file or any particular file or complete folder if you want to put in as complete folder here we have grouping like suppose we have taken a word talk so it should restrict to particular talk talk or it may take talking it may take a synonym as speak specialization as whisper or it may generalize to communicate here it shows with a minimum length it will take minimum length of word three we can change this to four or to five let's say five minimum display words thousand frequent words okay let's click on run query let's see what it say here here are the results where it says i'll show you one by one and percentage two this is quite a beautiful thing word activities that activities length 10 count 8 total weight is percentage out of the complete or we can do it like rearrange advertising length 11 count 726 that means this particular word advertising is 726 times in the complete files we have here which is the 2.03 percent of the complete text we have in these files right this is the summary now click on word cloud here we have word cloud this is a word cloud a quite famous pictorial way of representing your text analysis which is quite common in text based analysis it shows the broader the picture the broader the word the highest the percentage it is in the available text here we have advertising advertising information communication loyalty journal mobile attitude product you can save it save this picture export word cloud as a png file or jpg file or bitmap any of the location you want to save giving the name picture one or whatever you can save you can directly print from here also you can copy it the next thing is tree map it gives a mapping of the trees internet which is related to advertising which is related to consumer for the advertising related advertisement related to study you can double click you can see where it is it is loading save it is saving this particular tree this result it is showing the study is a word from the reference one saying how much percentage it covers cluster analysis the third agenda it gives the cluster based analysis of the total words we have in our files I'll try to show you in much better uh, pain you export this diagram or you can print it copy it like what it is, it is saying online which is related to all these words communication processing interactivity comprehension this further is connected to these words so cluster analysis you can create cluster of the words available in this particular text next thing the whole thing in this particular analysis uh, revolves around a word which is known as node if you are trying to create a analysis a relation between a certain construct certain variable you need to create 
constructs. I'll show. For this particular experiment, we have taken a hypothetical uh, example, a hypothetical uh, framework. This is. I have two major constructs: online advertisement and purchase intention. We need to check whether they have relation among both of these two. And I've seen out of literature. Entertainment, credibility, product information, good for economies are four defining variable of an online advertisement. I've created a questionnaire based upon this particular hypothetical situation, and I will take you to the responses one by one. From my respondent, I've asked a question: What impact does online advertisement have on your purchase intention? Similarly, entertainment value, product information, credible and trustworthy. I've asked four questions and good for local economy. You can edit this also, right? So for this particular interview, I have one, two, three, four, five, and six responses. What I need to do is what I will do. I will create nodes. Nodes. Are the combining anchoring point of all the analysis. What I'll do, I'll go to notes, new node. I'll give name as A N T Entertainment. That all the things related to entertainment of all the responses should club at one particular node, which is name as Entertainment. I'll do I'll create a new node. Cred. All the responses related to credibility, or all the text related to credibility, should converge at one particular node. Cred. New node. What we have? Good for economy. Okay. Done. Now what we'll do? We'll go to files. I click on this particular question, and I've seen this is entertainment. This question, how online ad provides entertainment value? I'll do select this code code into particular node. So this relation, this is related to entertainment. I'll select ENT. Okay. This particular chunk of response is related to credibility. Okay. This I have done for my respondent one, Khushi. Now I will repeat all these steps for others, other responses. I'll click on this. The other way is. Selecting this and clicking the code. This is entertainment. Ent. Okay. Click. Credibility. Code. Credibility. Okay. Now, before going into details, I'll show what this coding helps us. Noding helps us. I'll go to note. It shows for credibility. I have connected it with two files. Entertainment. I have connected with connected this with two files. When I click on this cred, it shows credibility from file Khushi and credibility for for file Mitushi. That means. This credibility has been as an answer from these two files. Similarly, we can have n number of nodes, and we can connect it with various references, which helps us in collecting similar type of data and anchoring it to a single reference point. When we have these type of single references 
single nodes single anchors now we can do further a sentiment analysis a relationship analysis a code based analysis among all these constructs variables with the help of nodes which we which we are doing in terms of quantitative research analysis likewise doing scm or so it will help us in defining the relationship among these particular nodes or these particular constructs for the particular text based analysis so this is for this particular video i'll come again i'll showcase i'll share how we can do sentiment analysis and other analysis based upon interview based things i will show how to do literature review based up, uh, based upon existing files we have with the help of nvivo thank you signing off for the day